Hey there and welcome to this week's video. This is going to be an extreme decluttering and organization video for my kitchen. But whether you are doing your kitchen or another spot in your home, today is going to be packed full of so much motivation. We are going to be tackling so much. So I'm going to be going through what we have and just getting rid of what I don't need and organizing every single thing. I hope you guys are ready. I'm starting with our coffee mugs and some of our baking goods. I am going to clear this entire cabinet out. That's how I like to do it. And then I will give it a good wipe down and start fresh. I pull everything out on the countertops and then that way I have everything right in front of me and I can evaluate what I want to keep and what I want to, what I want to get rid of. Then I will start putting things back in one by one. I always like to give everything a good wipe down before I put it back in. I did get some of these coffee cup holders. I did not love it. I got it from Amazon. The back of it did not like to stay secure. So if I had some double-sided tape or, tape or even to screw it in, that would help a great deal. But I like being able to have some of my storage on the top here. Okay, that is kind of puzzling me. I gotta think for a minute on that one. But I also got this thing here. This is for all of your little, like, you know, they go in here. Let's see if this is going to work. Wait a minute. I'm using the same Better Homes and Gardens containers that I used last time. These are really good. You do have to be careful when you wash them because some water can get in those lids and drip inside. So just be aware of that. Otherwise, they're really good and they're very affordable. Right next to here is our medicine cabinet. This is one area that is very packed full that I needed to go through. I wanna get rid of anything that is expired or that we just don't use. I love supplements and I do um, invest in my supplements. I think they are amazing and can be life-changing, but there are some that I've purchased that I just don't really care for. So this is gonna be the time in the day that I'm gonna take care of this and get rid of everything. Then I'm gonna start putting everything back in here so it fits better and also having a place for all of my overflow. If you're anything like me and you tend to forget when you took your medications, I got this little thing that you can stick on the side of your pill bottles or wherever you need it and it really does help remind you. This has been so helpful for me. Thank you. 
things that I grab every single day, I will have on this term table and then the other items that I will put above that I don't need every single day. I like those turntables. I get them from Amazon. You can also go to Home Goods, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, any place like that for something like that. They are really, really good. And I like that you can take each little section off as you need it. I'm also going to go through any of our little sticks here. I have probiotic sticks for the kids. Also, some just sugar-free type of um, lemonade that we like to flavor our water with. I keep all medications in my bedroom, in my linen closet, close to me. And then I will keep anything that we need that is kind of community in our home, like the pain relievers, Advil, Tylenol, and things like that. Things for your tummy out here that are easily accessible. That is how I like to do it. Our kids don't take a lot of prescription medication, so it makes it very helpful. I keep anything that I need in my bedroom, things like that at least. The bins that I have are flavor sticks in and probiotic sticks, also the overflow of some of my supplements. I actually got those from the dollar store for $1.25. I have a total of four of them and they are really great. When you wanna grab things, I did have gummies and things like that in there, so it's good for your kids as well if you wanna be able to have it accessible to them. These drawers did have our coffee in there, but I decided to move it around, but I'm thinking I'm gonna put that back in here because this is right here, right under the coffee maker, and it would be really convenient. When you are organizing your spaces, I wanted you to think about whatever is convenient for you. So make it when you are in your kitchen so it is very just a no-brainer for you to gravitate towards. That's why I'm gonna use this for our coffee area. Now, I've always mentioned this before, you have to do what works for you. And so make your organizing and your decluttering completely personalized for you. Don't make it look like Pinterest perfect or Instagram worthy, make it work for you. And you can do that with so many things in your home. I know it is really easy to get caught up in all of the bins and the pretty acrylic containers, but you don't need them. The things that I am using in today's video, 99% of them are things that I have already had in my home. And when I did purchase it, it was always affordable. Amazon, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, Marshalls, or the dollar store. You can get a lot of amazing things from the dollar store. And don't forget about your thrift areas as well and Goodwill, Salvation Army. Those places have so many bins that people get rid of. I originally used this container, which is for tea, but I used it for my medications and any things like that. So get creative, think outside of the box, and use whatever you've got to work for you. Came from here in my bed. 
It might take a lot of effort in the beginning to organize your things and put them like I'm doing it here, but it really helps out in the long run. If you can organize in the beginning, it will save you time because you'll know exactly where something is. Not only that, things will fit in the space so much better. It is another day. It took about three days to do this. There's also more footage that I'm actually going to have in the following video because it was just too much. This was an all day, three day long project. I did every square inch of this kitchen. So I know this is going to be packed full of motivation and I hope it inspires you to declutter and organize a space in your home. It brings you so much joy and such a sense of accomplishment when you do that. But more so than that, you have a home for everything. So you know right where to go when you need to find something or when you need to put something away. If you can put the effort in the beginning of organizing, you will save time and your space will be so much more functional. If you have a lot of kids or you're just like me, you love chips and we have a ton of them. I'm actually surprised that I did not have more than we usually do. I have bags and bags usually, especially with it being summertime. But you can see that there's a lot of half eaten bags. One of the things that I like to do is go through the house in the kitchen where I am going to be putting more groceries and do this before I put in my grocery order that way I know exactly what we need because if I open up the drawer and I see a whole bunch of bags I may not really realize that they're all half open and a half full so doing this really does help save money when you're putting in your shopping order because you know what you need and what you don't
This is your opportunity to just blindly get rid of things. When I say blindly, I mean just pick it up and move it aside. Don't stare at it anymore. Even if you spent money on it, if you know that you rarely touch it or you always grab something first, this is your opportunity to get it out of your home. It's taken up space, valuable real estate in your home, and it doesn't belong anymore. Now we all have things that we use seasonally or maybe for birthdays or special occasions. That is one thing. But if you know there are certain utensils that you never touch, you have just in case, or maybe some dish towels that you keep just in case because you've spent your money on it. This is your opportunity to get a black trash bag or a box that you cannot see in and just throw it in there. I'm telling you, it is an inan inanimate object. You are not going to hurt its feelings. And believe it or not, that is something I used to worry about. As silly as that sounds, I felt guilty about getting rid of things. And I just went down the rabbit hole of the repercussions of getting rid of maybe a spatula or these towels that I don't particularly care for. But blindly get rid of it. Close your eyes and drop it in a bin, bag, or box and no longer even think about it. You're not going to hurt its feelings. It's going to be better off in the long run. When we purchased this house, one of the biggest obstacles that I ran into, especially coming from a newer house that had a very large kitchen and very updated, it was brand new, is the kitchen here did not have any cabinet space. We had a few things, a few cabinets on the walls, and it definitely had its purpose, but overall, there was no space in here. It was built in the 90s and you could definitely tell so it limited it had very limited space so when we got rid of those cabinets to get these new ones that was a big factor in my mind we needed more drawers and cabinets because we knew we have a large family and truthfully you need a certain amount of cabinets to work for a space if you don't have enough space in your kitchen you can get very creative with bins and totes and if you know you're not going to touch something very often it is okay to put it in another room in the house especially if it's seasonal or occasional items like birthday items and whatnot or things if you make cakes or certain casseroles it is okay to put those things in another space in your house if you have limited cabinet and drawer space in your kitchen Okay, this is pretty much staying. These are from Amazon, they're great. I went ahead and emptied out some of the beans in here. I've got my pinto beans, cranberry beans, which if you've never had cranberry beans, they are so good, so creamy just um, boil them and then drain the water and let them sit for about four hours and then cook them however you choose to cook them 
or you can put them in Instapot. I like the Instapot because it takes the lectins out, which is, if you don't know, you just dig and do a little research on that one, but so good, so creamy, good with just regular white rice and some cornbread with onion on top. Oh my gosh, so good. Um, and such an affordable meal. So I think people joke around about beans and rice, like trying to be, uh, you know, frugal and stuff, but truly such a good meal. This is probably my favorite food of all time. Beans and rice, whether it's Great Northern, Pinto, Cranberry, over rice with cornbread, so delicious. Doesn't need meat at all, but if you wanna put a ham hock in it, it's really good. Okay, I've got some more overflow right here. I try to stay gluten-free. Um, I need to really be super like strict with it but I do have this flour here and I'm gonna go ahead and put it with the rest of the flour these are containers from Walmart What's crazy is I don't show any reaction to gluten whatsoever with my blood work or anything, but I can 100% notice my sinuses and asthma act up when I have gluten. So I did that with the process of elimination years ago. And then this here, I'm gonna put my gluten-free flour. need one more of these I purchased these this is the home edit line from Walmart and extra large they were on sale for $11 and I like them because it's just the straight edges I don't like when they're bowed at all because you don't get as much space but I don't know I don't I had it looking really aesthetically pleasing in my mind, but then as I've started to do the organization, I've realized that I could save a lot of money by genuinely using what I have, and so I may just take these back. I purchased six of these. I was gonna have like the entire drawer lined with these, so I could just scoop and go with whatever I was baking, but um, they are $11 each, so plus tax. I wouldn't, I don't know. I'm, the more I'm getting rid of stuff, I'm realizing I have everything I need. Some items like baking goods, muffin mixes, cake mixes do expire and you do need to follow the expiration date because it can carry um, mold and things like that. But I did look online for some of the mixes and other items I have and they were all still safe even though they were about six months to a year past the expiration date I looked online and they are still good so when you're going through your items make sure that if it is expired that it is still safe to eat because some items are not
If you are looking to redo your kitchen, I highly recommend drawers more so than cabinets itself on the bottom because usually cabinets on the bottom are very deep. Our pantry is quite deep. So as you saw, I was pushing things all the way in the back. So that's just a little bit of advice if you are going to do your kitchen. Drawers are a lifesaver for the back and if you do have cabinets, I purchased the pull-out drawers from Amazon. Very, very well made and it helped a lot with maximizing the space where our pots and pans go. I did get new Tupperware because if you have older kids, you'll understand that they take all of my Tupperware and I really do not mind, but when I go to put my food away, we had nothing. So I purchased some of this affordable Tupperware from Walmart and I'm sure slowly but surely they'll be bringing things back. If you are new here, I do have six kids. My oldest two are 22 and 19. Then it goes down to the last four, which are 14, 12, 10, and three. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I have a whole other video that is just a continuation of all of this decluttering and organizing. So we have so much more to get done. I hope this is motivating you to do your own space. You can strip your clothes if you want to. <laughs> your little hands. No, I'll do my one hand. Can do your one hand? No, I'll do my two. Okay, do your hands. Beautiful, beautiful. Nutella on your mouth. Here quickly are some more of the drawers that I just kind of organized real quick. If you enjoyed today's video, would you give it a thumbs up? It helps out my channel a ton. And if you like content like this, please hit that subscribe button for more. We post weekly videos. I'll see y'all in the next one. I love y'all and I'm thankful for you and you are loved, you are worthy. Please go and make this world a better place. Bye guys, see you next week.